PXG is one of the five teams in the new Eagles League that especially had a lot of impressive players who chose that team alongside Bastard Munich. Seeing PXG's roster of players, we see that they have some players who we've already seen the extent of their skills and talents from, some who we've never seen but already exist as a threat for the future of football, and some who we've only wondered what the limits of their potential would be if given the right opportunity. Now, last time it was Nanase, but in this video, we're going to be talking about low-key successor, Zantetsu Tsurugi. Now nah, I'm playing. Hey guys, Dark Hero Josh here, and today we're going to be talking about Zantetsu, diving into him as a player with things like his skills and capabilities, and talk about the potential that he has compared to his peers within the series of Blue Lock. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now the first time we see Zantetsu appearance wise in the main story of Blue Lock was actually in chapter 1 once Isagi and Kira enter the room full of people, but down the line come to find out he's a part of team V, the most dominant team in that stratum with Isagi and team Z, and a part of team V's main trio alongside Nagi and Rayo in chapter 23. Once the match between Team V and Team Z kicked off, we quickly saw Zantetsu's weapon being his explosive acceleration in action, managing to beat Chigiri, the fastest player we've seen in that series at that point in a battle of speed, and get the ball before him and actually manage to score a goal in the same play. Zantetsu is actually a left footed shooter and was one of the first players to actually introduce us to the golden zone. Although it was unintentional because he even asked Rayo what he meant by territory, but Rayo definitely noticed Zantetsu had a shooting point he'd always shoot from and took advantage of that early on in the first selection by teaching him more about it. In the second half of the match, as Team Z starts with the ball, as Gagamaru attempts a scorpion kick shot because he ran ahead of the pass, we see that it would have gone in the net if it wasn't for Zantetsu coming in to block the shot with his head. Paired with his fast reaction speed during the match, we've seen Zantetsu best Chigiri to the ball many times throughout this match, being able to react first and get a huge head start before Chigiri could even make his move. Now after the first selection, we don't really see much of Zantetsu, like at all, until the Neo Egos League at least, so we're going to be using a little bit from the side story episode Nagi to further get a good idea of Zantetsu's abilities and feats. In chapter 3 of episode Nagi, during the game of tag between team V, out of everyone in that room, Zantetsu was ranked the highest off of rip. We also see his explosive acceleration for the first time in the side story, when he steals the ball from Nameoka Ryu. And as he goes to press Nagi and Ryo, we see him able to run in a zigzag line towards them without losing much of his speed. Further down the line into the second selection in chapter 20 of episode Nagi, in the 3v3 match between Nagi, Chigiri, and Baro versus Hiragi, Nico, and Zantetsu, we see Zantetsu manage to predict Baro's chop feint and easily catch up to him, ultimately changing this charging power battle into a battle of speed, obviously with the help of Nico giving him this information on Baro. Going back to the main story of Blue Lock in the Neo Egos League, we know that Zantetsu chose to play for France's PXG, and between both the Shido and Rin systems that PXG mains, he paired up with Karasu in the Shido system to support him at any time. Currently, Zantetsu is tied with Tokimitsu at 20th place with a bid of 23 million yen on his head. So far in the game between Bastard and PXG, we haven't really gotten a lot of Zantetsu moments, which is sad because a lot of people would think given Loki sharing the same weapon as Zantetsu or extremely similar at the very least, he'd help Zantetsu use it to break through the world class barrier. But that's okay because I'm gonna step in and take that role to help our boy Zantetsu realize his potential and break into that domain of world class myself. So first, instead of PXG, I think a better team that would help Zantetsu grow as an overall player would be England's Manshine City. Zantetsu's explosive acceleration fits perfectly into their philosophy of speed and rush. Like Chris Prince did to all of the blue lockers, like Rayo, Nagi, and Shigiri, we'll start by fueling up Zantetsu's body, 
pause and quickly assess Zantetsu's weapon being his explosive acceleration. And instead of solely depending on it like all the rest did up until this point without nurturing it, this is where Zantetsu will learn to take care of his body so his talent doesn't wither away. Speed being a weapon that is heavily dependent on your body, specifically your leg muscles like your hamstrings or your quadriceps, he'll definitely need to build on those muscles specifically. Overall in Manshine City, the goal for Zantetsu will be for him to learn the mechanism of his body and take care of it to ultimately make full use of his weapon. Because Zantetsu and Chigiri's weapons are damn near the same thing, he'd definitely be given a similar training routine to Chigiri in terms of body endurance training and stuff like that. This would also help Zantetsu maintain more of his speed while making quick cut-ins or changes directions while dribbling past opponents, or just maintain his speed for a longer time in general. Zantetsu wouldn't need to learn about the Golden Zone like Chigiri at this point because he's already had knowledge of it with the help of Rayo and has been relying on it since the first selection. So what I recommend that should be improved on instead is his range where he can maintain his acceleration speed. As we learned back in chapter 31, within a radius of 10 meters, Zantetsu's weapon was more dominant than Chigiri's, making Chigiri drag him to a distance further than that so he could use long distance sprinting most effectively being that that was Chigiri's weapon. By increasing his range, Zantetsu will definitely have more dominance on the field and cover more space, specifically on the right side of the pitch being that his golden zone's on the right side so we'll just let it slide for now. As good as it can benefit Zantetsu offensively, he can also be an amazing defender as well. For example, if we put Zantetsu as a right back with this upgrade as well as his already fast reaction speed, he can cover a lot of space defensively and just be all over the net blocking any shots being sent that way and have the reaction speed to quickly mark any attackers trying to come in close and go in for the shot or pass in the box. Another upgrade that I think Zantetsu should have added to his bag are many different acceleration speeds that he can continuously use and instantly go into. Now I don't know if that made sense completely but stay with me. In chapter 91 of Blue Lock, after Team Rin managed to get the jump on the World 5 and got the opening goal against them, we see them start to lock in. As the match restarts and Loki has the ball, we see Loki's god speed firsthand as he explodes past Isaki and Bachira, dribbles widely and still maintains that speed to get past Aryu and Tokimitsu and even when Rin predicted where Loki would end up it was still shown that he can shift into another gear to get through Rin and ultimately score the first goal for the world 5. If Zantetsu could shift into multiple gears in the blink of an eye it would make him damn near impossible to catch in man mark. This would truly turn Zantetsu into a one man army capable of breaking through any opponent's half quickly getting to his zone and mass producing goals without the other team able to even react to his movements whatsoever. Now a little side note, I'm pretty sure we all know that Zantetsu isn't really the most intelligent player in blue lock and honestly I don't think there's any way that it could be fixed whether he joins a different team or not in the new Eagles league but if he had somewhat of the intelligence comparable to like Chigiri or something or just thought for himself just a little bit more he could definitely use his speed in much more creative ways than I could even think for him right now. Overall, if Zantetsu were to have joined a team like Manshine City to learn more about the mechanism of his body and build a better body to carry out those ideas like a wider range for him to sustain his acceleration or shifting into multiple gears by making use of that acceleration, I'd think that Zantetsu would have been a much more fearsome player to deal with in the new Eagles League that could excel well in positions like right wing or right wing back, making use of his acceleration both offensively as well as defensively. Anywho, that's all I've got for you guys today about Zantetsu. If you guys did enjoy the video, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and comment down below which character should I talk about next in terms of potential. And of course, make sure to follow the Twitter and join the Discord. But without further ado, I hope you guys do have a great day, and see ya.